welcome back and welcome new viewers. Today I have a beautiful Vogue's pattern number 3516 and it is just so lovely. To me basically this reminds me of Hollywood movies with the very pretty intricate and flirty design. It's um, flirty and casual. Along with this pattern I also have my packing slip September 9, 2014 and along with this pattern right here which is the Vogue I also bought this antique boys uh, bolero and short set and it's McCall's 2323 I need to find it actually and I'm sure I have it with my other vintage uh, or antique McCall patterns All right, there we go. And here we see that it was 60 cents. I know that now the patterns are going in the, in re, around 16, 18, last time I checked, but of course there's sales. And right here in the bottom, we get to see that it is a copyright of, or I can't even see this here, 1953. So, very pretty and I opened up the instructions and I saw something where um, you can see here in the back it is like a like a double dressed suit and that's the inside of this part right here or double breasted yeah and on the side it looks like it has some very um, tight pleats and I do know that I have been seeing in that era where even in the 40s and yeah even in the 30s where you wow. have some pleats on the side okay. Bye, baby. and here's the, the instruction so not much just a one pager and wait until the end I'm going to show you what the pattern looks like so I suppose by the way that this looks it's not much but start sewing and it is fairly simple but this gives you an idea so I just opened it up and you get to see here on the side part of the the breast area and here is where you apply the little pockets and this is the side where I was talking about right here you get to see these little pleat work on the side very interesting and very very uh, pretty you don't get to see that um, from the picture so I was uh, quite a bit surprised and let's see here I'm trying to uh, move this along without damaging the uh, paper but right here we get to see where they're putting on the buttons so now for opening up how the pattern looks like and this is not the first time that I that I see these patterns but let me tell you the first time that I saw it's because I I did work on it and because it's so old the the glue's coming out and you got to see a little sneak peek of the pattern so let me move this along and basically these are your patterns and I was blown away for two reasons. Number one, you don't have any numbers. You have, you just have dots. This is the, I think this was, they were dot fanatic in that time. And you get to see right here, if, if you turn it the, the correct way and you put it on a darker material, you get to see what message, actually literally what coded message you have. And right here I have my, um, my already pleats that I have okay right here I have two so I have them right next to me but I want to show you this is where you decode the message all right so I have the orange fabric underneath because I am working on Halloween uh, items and over here you get to see bodice left front well that is your indicator 
And these little dots right here are something else, aren't they? So it's all full of dots, all full of little squares, circles, and I don't know if this was intentional, but this is where you connect it together from the top to the skirt. So I was literally blown away from that. And I did um, use a 1950s pattern and it was for a, um, during a convention, I took my daughter to Chicago and I made her a, um, uh, I'll put the word here. I can't remember it, but it was like a very sheer material and it was for uh, to go over her dress. The word just uh, eluded me right now. So here's the rest of the patterns. Nothing but coded messages, little dots. And this, this reminds me, I grew up in the 70s, went to college in the 80s, and I did go to college for computer programming. And this reminds me of the coded um, little like time cards that they used back then in the large computers or the large mainframe computers. So that went in with that era of the 1950s. And I know that they were using the, those computers during um, World War II. So that was in the 40s. So just a little bit more. Every single one has little codes little dots and squares so let me know in the comment what have you seen this before what do you think and look uh, let's see if we can see this this is the pocket right here so let me know what you think isn't this amazing it's very fun looking at what we like to call here uh, our time capsule time capsule in patterns oh look this lady uh, did the pockets out of beautiful paper and I need to find that vintage boy pattern that one looks from oh I don't know it looks very very old so I'm gonna put this back just slightly and get to have another look of this I hope that you enjoyed this video and Tuesday Time Bank, where we get to see time capsule items, something found, something that you like, and something uh, very unique. Uh, you can use the hashtag Tuesday Time Bank. Want to join along? Come on Tuesday and share what you like, what you have that is vintage antique, something you found, and like I mentioned, of a time capsule. Hope to see you next week. Please don't forget to give me a comment, a like, and a share. Share is helping my channel grow, and that's what I'm working on every moment of the day. And it'll help other viewers get to find at least once a week, if this is their interest, of, of looking at old vintage patterns. And that's what mainly uh, I do on Tuesdays, because I do have uh, quite a bit to share. We'll see you next week. Take care, everybody. And uh, if you're here, why don't you take a moment and look at what I have in store from sewing, dolls, and my pets. Something that I hold dear in my heart. See you in the next video. Bye!